Hello, hello, welcome back to Let's Play Terraria. We're at episode 20. We've made it quite a far, quite far in the game these past few episodes. I wasn't sure if I'd make it a few of the times, but I'm glad the series is going on this long. And hey, there's always episode, <laughs> there, there's always, oh, sorry, patch 1.1 coming out later, whether I die or whether I beat everything. Either way. Yeah, so last time, I, we got some good stuff done. Not sure why I still have the gills potion on me. Basically, what I wanted to do in this episode is restart, is fix up my mushroom farm there, and then head out and try to play in the jungle a little bit. That's basically my goal here. The rest of these herbs are doing just fine. Although I could plant some more day bloom. You can never have enough of that stuff. Water leaf, I need to plant as well, but I need to gather several more buckets of water as I noted last time. Make a little kind of water area in there. So maybe I'll do that as well this episode. Grab my seeds in case I decide to do that. Okay. So, staying along with the f my format of switching up the action and the so-called chores aspect of the game. Do some chores this time. So we might as well light this area up if we're going to have uh, more plants here. Play for some more pots for my... So I can put a little water section in here. Unlike Minecraft, your plants don't die if mobs walk on them. So we don't have to worry about securing the area or carrying a zombie spawn here or anything like that. I don't think I'm going to get my seeds back, am I? That's okay. I have two more. So yes, I did this all wrong. I did the same, same thing in single player. I just don't remember doing it. Ooh, a meteor. We don't need that. But it'll be it'll be fun coming across it randomly. Uh, yeah. Let's put it right here. Uh, no. Let's not. We don't want to dig any sort of elevator type thing quite yet. Yeah, so somewhere along here we'll have our water leaf. But we need to get down in this type of area. Oh, hey, there's some water right here. I could just put down a bunch of water right there for my water leaf, now that I think about it. Yeah, it would be smart, wouldn't it? Yeah, what am I thinking? That's perfect. Gather some clay, grab some pots, plunk them down in the water, we're done. No need to transport water, or duplicate water, you can duplicate it in this game. I don't think, the lava is hard, harder to duplicate and they may be trying to remove that, but the water I think they don't care about. Anyway, let's go make some pots. And then we still have to find a site for the mushrooms to go. I think we make that at our... Furnace, I do believe. That's my clay. Uh, yep. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, there it is. Hurrah! Perfect. More than enough. I guess I could have stolen my pots over there as well. Ooh, I hear a star. Oh, no, it must have fell on the other side. Dangerous. It's a dangerous game, this farming stuff. Alright. Done. Um, actually, that might need to be a little deeper, now that I'm looking at it. That's not a problem. Okay, so I guess I can dig an axis, another axis shaft kind of this way. I'm keeping them all diagonal just for safety's sake. Yes, yeah, so we'll go down somewhere in here. I just need to get down to rock level. But for now... Do a second floor on my farm here for when I get jungle seeds. That'll be nice. Little access tunnel to the water here. 
Oh, there's my star. I might not even get to the jungle this episode. Oh, this is good enough. I should be able to grab water just like this. Just like this. Ha! Look at that. It's like I planned it out or something. Doesn't hurt to grab some extra water on there. Score. And a nice little clay farm if we ever need it. Okay, so I did, never did build that depth meter that I never actually mentioned or planned on making anyway. So it's no surprise, but... That's okay, we'll know when the background goes rocky. It won't be long now. My house is pretty much on a hill, but... I've been playing some Minecraft in my spare time, and it's a little, a little weird going back to this, because you need to be three blocks high to get to get anywhere horizontally instead of two blocks high. Yeah, it's a little different. I have no choice really other than to do this because I can't really, I don't really, really want to put my mushroom farm way over in my actual cave. Often I find actual cave caves closer to my house and then I just throw it in there but okay don't dig down in the dark. What are you doing? There we go. This is a better stairway. Go down a nice little chunk and then go over. Oh, here's all the copper I didn't find at the beginning of the game. It was right underneath me. Man, my, I must be on a really big hill. That's strange, because usually ground level is right really close by to the rocky area. I should have put a disclaimer at the beginning. Feel free to skip ahead, skip this video, or skip to the middle. If you don't like watching me dig. But then, it's Terraria, what do you expect me to do? Not dig? Okay. Almost not worth it. But these take so long to grow, I gotta get them started, so what can you do, right? Not much of a elevator, but it's a hell of a lot safer. It's a good thing I'm not in a large world, because I'd be a lot further up. Oh look, water, when I don't need it. We've got to be getting close now, come on. Yeah, as I said before, my first world was a large world, and I really enjoyed it. I like playing a large world, I just didn't want to drag this out or make this too easy. Okay, any minute now. Okay, it's daytime. I might make it back up by nightfall at this rate. I might run out of torches too. Is that a mushroom? No, it's just blinkweed. It's gotta be blinkweed. Which means we're... Oh, here it is. Found it. I'm not going any lower. This is the level we want. Yeah, this is normally ground level, and it probably is actually right below ground level at some areas. Oh look, there's some iron. And a math awesome cave system. Well, I don't really have time for that, do I? Okay, it's not awesome. Maybe it is. Regardless, I people have been bugging me to grab to upgrade my axe and my hammer, so might as well grab the iron. We need it for potions anyway, so let's just grab it. I also want to try to remember to save my gold ore for spelunking potions. Because those are maybe more important than one extra armor up there. Okay. Get her done! Okay. Now we need it one deeper for the layer of mud. I'll just get right into it. Whoa, that's a lot of slime. You know what? You can just stay there. Yeah, 
Here, I'll take those torches up before I go. Oh. Two picks for stone still, and I got my awesome nightmare pickaxe. Seems pretty slow for a nightmare pickaxe. Always the worst thing about starting a new game is how slow the pickaxes are. Okay, perfect. Mud this place up. I like how Terraria made a use for pretty much every block and item in the game. There's nothing... well, I guess not really, because recently they added lots of decorations. But they were put in specifically for decorations, and we knew that. But even stuff like mud is, you know, they gave it a use. Okay. Oh, I left a torch down there. Oh, I failed. It's probably far enough away. I don't want to risk it. So let's grab that. Done. Blink root's not going to cause a problem. Patch it up. Good to go. Alright. While I'm here, I might as well extend this because I probably won't be back for a while based on how far I had to go. I should have brought a chest with me and just dropped this extra mud in, but... You know what? That's good to go. Make sure it's sufficient light. Grab this one as well. Perfect. You can see that all that halo around them, no lights touching them externally. It's exactly what they need. Okay, spend the rest of the day getting out of here. Don't need any more wood platforms with all my awesome goodies. Okay, that section is a little bit bumpy. Okay, there we go. We got pretty much... Well, we got all the herbs except for two now. Grab the random late day bloom. And those seeds grow fast, don't they? Unfortunately, there's no use for their seeds other than replanting, so you always end up with extras. That's okay. Give them to your friends, I guess. Take them to multiplayer. Alright. Step mission 1 accomplished. Mission 2. I suppose I should go to the jungle. Oh, she went outside again. She what? She did move into this house. Oh, I see what she does. Do 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 do. I'm gonna go look outside. Falls off the house. Yeah, the rest of these people can't do that because, uh,. I guess what I could do is do something like this. Because everyone knows dryads can't jump, at least not in that skirt. <laughs> anyway. Quick stack. Deposit my shiz. Don't need the buckets anymore. Smelt some iron if I got it. Don't need the seeds anymore. I can sell those. Made too many buckets, just sort of stayed with one. But that's okay. Two extra chains there too, I forget why I had those. Mud and yeah. Got my gold for splunkers, that's good news. Okay, right. Iron um stuff. Get the anvil. Let's just get it out of the way now. Iron axe. Might as well. Even though I'm probably getting, you know, a better pack axe eventually, like a nightmares pick a ham axe or something. I just want to get that because wood is just a common thing for me to gather. That I'm not worried about. Okay. doing but okay got a merchant come to me done 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 that should be in my bank need some more gel and some wood and some torches and some need some more everything I'm gonna try to stick down to two um
Yeah, I might want to use that eventually on the road. Yeah, I'll try to take down to two chests just so management doesn't get super crazy. So I'll die on bar because I only need the ore now. Oh, look how fast that went! Holy! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. Okay, so the jungle, like the floating islands, has an excess of silver and gold. There's tons of silver and gold there. Also, killing the monsters gives us mats for epic gear that is was recently added. Well, before you had to get the gear just by a random... It was kind of like a random drop, and they changed it three or four times. And now you basically upgrade your... Um, your silver armor with these mats, so... I'm gonna go ahead to the jungle, which i pretty sure is on the right. I hope I'm not crazy. I've been watching other people play Terra Terraria on YouTube. Several other people, so I hope I'm not confused. Pretty sure it's on the right. If not, we're just gonna waste a bunch of time. Nothing wrong with that. Actually, it seems like a good place to end the episode here. That way I can <laughs> go watch one of my previous videos, make sure I'm going the right way. But I'm literally all ready to go from with the jungle. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.